Welcome back to the Packet Lab. This is the lab portion of the OSPF Fast Hellos lesson. And here's our topology such that it is uh, R1 and R2 are connected on their fast Ethernet support. They're both running OSPF and this connection is going to be in the backbone area zero. Really not a lot here, but just giving you a visual of what we'll be working on. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got going on here. You see that we have a fast Ethernet and a loopback video show IP OSPF interface brief. You see that both of those are in area zero. Let's do a show IP OSPF neighbor. And we do have a neighbor relationship with R2. And if we do a show IP OSPF interface and specify fast ethernet zero slash zero, we get a bunch of information here. What I really want to take a look at here is the timers. Oops, need to have an I for include. And you can see here that we have our default settings of with a hello interval of 10 seconds and a dead interval of 40 seconds. And the reason we have that is because our network type is broadcast. So that's the groundwork for what we got for lab here. Let's go ahead and change our timers and implement some OSPF fast hello. So we're going to go in configuration mode and we're going to go into the interface, which is fast zero slash zero in this case. And I'll show you first that with IP OSPF, that's the keywords that you need to remember. That'll get you to all the OSPF configurations underneath the interface. You can see here that we have a um, setting for the dead interval as well as the hello interval. Now, just logically, you would think that fast hellos would be set up underneath the hello interval. But if we take a look at our options there, we don't have the option for this. So the lowest that we can set this to is one second. And we're looking to do sub second. So if I backspace here and instead do the dead interval, if I invoke iOS help with the question mark, you can see here that we can set this to any interval that we want down to one second, or we can use this, the uh, minimal. It doesn't leap out at you that this is how you set up sub second hellos because it says minimal set to one second. And we're like, all right, well, I can do that here with just a one. But if we type in minimal and then invoke the help, uh, we don't have any choice. We have to type in hello multiplier. I can just type H and then tab that will fill it in for you. Let's hit our help one more time here. And now you can see it says the number of hellos sent within one second and on this version of ios and this platform we can send as few as three hellos every second which would be a hello interval of about 333 milliseconds or as many as 20 which is a hello interval of 50 milliseconds for this demonstration we're going to use four hit enter now we should see our OSPF neighbor relationship go down. It's going to take a while here because it's going to take up to 40 seconds because we're still using the old dead timer. If I do a show IP OSPF neighbor, you'll see that that, uh, oh, well, we're already seeing the dead timer here in milliseconds, which is interesting because it's showing that's basically 19 seconds and then 16 seconds and we're down to six seconds. Uh, I won't bother pausing because this will eventually drop. It's interesting. It puts a dead timer into milliseconds. And as we saw in the other lesson that even though you changed the dead interval to one second, it's going to continue with the old dead interval until the process is either reset or brought down, which is effectively resetting it. So we've lost our neighbor relationship. And the reason we've lost our neighbor relationship is because we're not matching on our hello and dead intervals anymore. On R1, the hello and dead interval, I'll show them to you here. Show IP OSPF interface F0 slash zero. And I'll include timer so we don't have to see everything here. And I'll keep the network type on there as well. So you can see the network type has not changed. We're still using a broadcast network. But now you can see that the timer intervals are in milliseconds. So our hello interval is 250 milliseconds. So that's what we set with the hello multiplier. We're sending four hello packets every second. Our dead timer is at one second. Always going to be one second when you're using fast hellos. That's something that uh, I hammered home during the theory lecture. But keep that in mind that it's always going to be one millisecond. So the reason this is down is because on the other side here, if we do the same command, show IP OSPF interface F0 slash zero, and I'll just have the timers as well as the network. You can see that we are broadcast, but now we've got, we still have the defaults over here. So what we're going to do is we can go in and configure the same thing on this side. We're going to go underneath the interface and IP OSPF. What's the next bit? Dead interval and then minimal and then hello multipliers. I apologize for not typing out the whole command, but I'm basically giving it enough letters so it knows that that's the unique command. If you type this out fully, it'd be IP OSPF dead interval minimal hello multiplier with a hyphen in the middle. So anyways, we'll go ahead and set this to four so that both sides match and show IP OSPF neighbor. And you can see here, and what's interesting here is now we see that the dead interval is in milliseconds. And if we watch this, it's actually decrementing from one second down, and it should never get below 750 milliseconds. 
That's because every 250 milliseconds, it's going to receive a hello packet from R1, which is going to reset that timer. So let's pop back over to R1. So if you get this on an exam and you, they give you some output, it's going to be pretty easy to tell if you're running fast hellos or not. They do a show IP OSPF neighbor. If the dead time is in milliseconds, you know that we're playing with fast hellos. We should show IP OSPF interface F0 slash zero. And we'll just have all the output here. But if you see the timer intervals, if you see the hello is in milliseconds and the dead time is one second, then again, you know you're playing with OSPF fast hellos. You can also look at the next hello do. What this is saying is on this router, we're going to send another hello in 79 milliseconds. If that's in milliseconds, then you're playing with OSPF fast hellos as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to debug IP OSPF hellos on R1. I'm not going to hit enter yet. I'm going to pop over to R2 and get into configuration mode. And then I'm going to do a no router OSPF1. What's going to happen is when I hit enter on R2, it's going to get rid of OSPF configuration completely. So we won't be sending OSPF hellos any longer. R1, I'm going to have um, debugging on. So we should see this guy go down. So I'm going to hit enter over here. The reason I'm pre-typing it and staging it is because we're now sending four hellos per second. So there's going to be a buttload of output if we take our time with this. So I'm going to hit enter here, pop over to R2 and do the same thing. Now let's go back to R1. And you can see that the dead timer has expired. So I'm going to type you all. So now I've turned off the debugging. So what I've done is this debugging should be in log. If I do a show log, you can see that we've got all this stuff here. So let's scroll up and take a look at this. So this is what we're looking for. This is when it went down. And you can see here that this is the last hello that it received. So it received it at 10626 and you can see here that we send our hellos and basically it's four hellos that it's going to miss but anyways the last hello it received was at 10626 and then it was down at 10628 so about two seconds later but really we're going from i believe this guy here Anywho, i'm just trying to show you that this does actually terminate the ospf neighbor relationship within a second because that is the dead interval and that these guys are being sent out in fractions of seconds you can see here that these are the hellos that are being sent within that one second interval of uh, 10627 and you can see we've got four of these guys sent all right i'm going to clear the log on r1 and i'm going to pop over to r2 and get into configuration mode i'm going to re-enable the ospf process and probably the easiest way to do this is to do a show start begin router ospf so i had written this so the router process configuration is in the startup configuration but i had blown it away in the running configuration so i'm just going to grab this now i do want to show you something real quick we don't have uh, ospf enabled so if i do a do show ip ospf it's not enabled if i do a do show run int s0 slash zero now, depending on your iOS version and platform, this line may not stay in memory. So right now I've got the dead timer set on this side, but I'm not running OSPF. So this command does absolutely nothing at this point. The reason I'm showing you this is that because, don't quote me on this, but I believe that in different versions, this may actually disappear when you get rid of the process, but it's retained in memory. So when you re-enable the OSPF process, this can pop back. In this case, we should be able to see that it's there and realize that when we turn on our OSPF again, we're going to be using fast hellos. It's just good to know that this might come back and bite you in the butt here. So let's go ahead and re-enable that process. If we do show IP OSPF neighbor, we should see that we have a neighbor relationship and we are running fast hellos because we see our dead time in milliseconds. So let's go under interface fast zero slash zero. Interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. And let's go ahead and change our um, hello multiplier, IP OSPF dead interval, min for minimal, that's all the choice we have, and then we don't have any choice here. So we can set this from anywhere from three to 20. And if we remember on R1, we have it set to four. Let's have fun and set this to 20. So now we're sending out 20 hello packets per second. Probably not the best idea on a um, Dynamips emulated network, but whatever. What I wanna show you here is if I do a show IP OSPF, interface f0 slash zero let's just take a look at the timers you can see here my hello interval is 50 milliseconds now if i just copy this guy here pop on over to r1 
you can see on this side, our hello interval is 250 milliseconds. Normally, if you have a hello interval mismatch, you will not form a neighbor adjacency. Remember, that's one of the big things with the hello interval and the router dead interval is they have to match for a neighbor relationship to be established in OSPF. So you would think logically like, oh, there's not going to be a neighbor relationship because we have a hello mismatch. If we do a show IP OSPF neighbor, you can see here on R1 that we have a neighbor relationship. And if I do a show IP OSPF, I'm sorry, a route OSPF, you can see that we are getting OSPF routes from R2. Copy this dude, pop on over here. Same deal. So we have a hello mismatch, yet our OSPF neighbor relationship is established. If you haven't watched the theory portion of this, go back and check that out because it goes through this. But basically what's happening is that actually the hello interval is being set to zero on both sides. And then each router independently keeps track of what its hello multiplier is going to be. So this is one of the weird situations where you don't have to have the hellos matching when you're using OSPF fast hellos in order for a neighbor relationship to be established. Technically in the background, you are matching. Whenever you enable... OSPF fast hellos, your hello interval will be zero and your dead interval will be one second. You just won't see that on the output here because the routers are saying, okay, I see in the hello packets that my hello interval is zero. So now I know to look someplace else in the code and specifically at that hello multiplier to find out how many times I'm going to actually spit these dogs out. So you can have hello mismatches on the CLI. Actually, in the background, you are agreeing on a hello interval of zero seconds. So that's how it works. It's kind of a hack on uh, the OSPF hello packets. And that's it for the IP OSPF fast hello lab portion. Really pretty simple to implement. The two things to keep in mind are that the command is under the interface using the dead interval minimal command. It's a little illogical. You would think it would be the hello interval, but it's not. And the second thing is that you do not have to match the hello interval on both sides. You're going to want to. I don't see why you wouldn't want to. It doesn't make much sense to me. That's about it. Thanks once again for joining me in the Packet Lab. As always, I hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network god.